Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're recapping the 2024 AAHF World Hockey Championship happening in Czechia. So up right into today, taking a look at the scores from today's games, starting with the bronze medal game. And we're not actually going to start. Normally we go in order of the day, but I got a couple extra words for this one. So we'll move right along here. We were live for the gold medal game, and this was the highlight of the goal that put, put Czechia in the gold medal spot. Fiala to Yossi. Shot. Blocked. Cleared out for the Czechs and wide open for the win. David Camp scores for Czechia and they will win gold at the 2024 IIHF World Hockey Championship. What a game. So that was my reaction to the dagger, the goal that put Czechia and basically won them the gold medal. Um, so it was a fun stream. You know, it was a, it was a good time. Uh, obviously, be sure to come back to next year's streams. We'll be half full of them. And unfortunately, it wasn't Canada. And I am going to now talk about it as we move over to the news with... For Sweden, it's something, right? They they came home with the bronze medal today, winning four to two. So good for them. Czechia won gold. Switzerland won silver. Two to nothing was your final there. Then, of course, the key thing for Canada today is they lost. And normally, you know, they lose, big whoop, whatever. It's the Double IHF World Championships. The best players aren't there. As a Canadian fan, I can go cry in the NHL hockey now. But at the same time, if you're going to represent Canada at a double IHF event, you have to show some care. You have to care about what you're doing. You have to basically give a damn about representing the Maple Leaf on your chest. And today's team, today's game did not represent Canada well. And frankly, it's a little bit of an embarrassment that we have to sit here and talk about that game after Sweden, I mean, quite literally just manhandled Canada. And sure, you know, look, it's a close game. 4-2, you know, empty net, big whoop. But if you actually watch the game, it's, it's, it's just infuriating to watch, right? They're Canada, a team that should be going head-to-head -head with any of these teams, let alone not even being in the bronze medal game, losing to Switzerland. But at the same time, it's the why factor. And this is something that I learned from a young age is you got to ask yourself, what's your why? Why do you want to do this? Why are you here? And why are you, why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you playing hockey? Why are you representing Canada at the double IHF world hockey championships? Not some throwaway up in Rochester. That's a quote from miracle. But the truth is, if you're going to play on a national team you got to have some why and today Canada just didn't have that Bennington, Bennington looked like some goalie that just came off the street half the team couldn't even play the puck so frankly in my opinion Canada didn't play well today we'll leave it there they got to go ask themselves what's their why but at the end of the day you know it's the bronze medal sure it doesn't it's a throwaway but there is a little bit to it play with a little bit of pride I'm going to leave that game alone now let's talk about the Probably the best game of the day. 2 nothing checks over Switzerland. There was a goal with about five seconds left. You saw the reaction to that. But this was one of those games where it was just back and forth and really could have went either way. It was the battle of the goaltenders, you know, and both goalies stood on their heads. Great game for both. But unfortunately for Switzerland, their drought will continue. They still have not won a double IHF World Championship. So a tough one for them as well for Czechia. The love of hockey is there. You've seen it. You know, they're shattering records. And, and it really, you saw the crowd. They were in it the entire game, which is exactly what you want out of a, out of, out of a tournament like this, where it's a long, it's a long stretched out tournament, right? It's, it happens over about three weeks or so, you know, 56 games in the round robin. You got another eight, 12, 13, 14, 14 games, right? In the playoffs. So there's a lot of hockey to watch. And for some fans, you know, you can get a little bit lost in that. But for the Czech fans, you know, they were lights out the entire time. And then for me, you know, it's just one of the things, right? We talked about it in yesterday's video. We talked about it a little bit in our stream today. But once, if you can get a crowd like that going, especially early, it's like riding a, a sled down a hill. And this is the Canadian talking, of course. But think about the toboggan down the hill. If you start catching some snow, you're just going to keep going. So, and we saw that today, you know, the Czechs. Once they put that first one, and once Pass to put that first goal in, it was lights out from there. So, with that being said, you know, great game, great 
great tournament for the Czechs winning their first gold medal in about 14 years. So great for them. You know, it, it, it's a really impressive impressive tournament, impressive result. And they played lights out. You know, their path to get to the gold medal was nearly, was pretty deathly, right? You had the U.S. in the first round, the big bad U.S. Then you had to play Sweden, who at that point hadn't lost a game. So, and finally you settled with the red hot Swiss. So really difficult path to get to the gold medal, let alone win it. But, you know, checks every step of the way. Lucas Dostal played his heart out and, and really led the team to victory there. So with that, the Czech or Czechia is your 2024 IIHF World Hockey Championship gold medalists. Uh, and once again, you know, big congrats to them, big congrats to their fans. I know we got a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of viewers that are from Czechia. So big congrats to you guys as well. And lastly here, I just want to say a big thank you from me to you. We finally hit 500 subscribers on YouTube. So be on the lookout for a old, a little bit of a throwback video coming out in just a couple days. Uh, we'll be working on that this week as well as some of the other NHL stuff as we pivot back to that event. But we'll take a now, now a look at the final playoff bracket for the IIHF World Championship. And as you can see here, we have the Czechs on top, Switzerland in second, Sweden in third, and lastly, Canada in fourth. And we'll now show the final ranking. So as we just said, Czechs in first, Switzerland in second, Canada, or sorry, Sweden rather in third, Canada in fourth. We have the US in fifth, Germany in sixth, Slovakia in seventh, eighth for Finland, ninth for Latvia, 10th for Austria, 11th for Norway, 12th for Kazakhstan, Denmark, France, Great Britain and Poland. So GB and Poland will both be relegated. Uh, sent back down to Division 1A. We'll have two new teams up next year. Always just sort of the part of the fun of the relegation round, especially that they take from the European side. And lastly here, we'll take one final look at some of the awards that were distributed. First off, the, the MVP was Kevin Fiala. Well-deserving. You know, he more or less put the team on his back. Him and Yossi, who we'll talk about in a second here, those two guys were just lights out for Switzerland the entire entire tournament really and sort of put the team on their back when they needed to so they so fiala will win mvp as well as the directorate awards double ihf directorate will be kevin fiala for most valuable forward most valuable defenseman will go to roman yossi so the two swiss and lastly here are the goaltenders lucas dostal for me you know aside from fiala i think Dostal's pretty much right there. I would have slightly given the MVP to him just by a, a wee margin, but at the end of the day, it really could have went either way. Both, both both teams, you know, they played excellent, and that's exactly what they need to do uh, to get to where they are. They're not necessarily the powerhouse countries that we're used to seeing, but these two nations are on the rise, and it's only a matter of time before they 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 really show themselves on at least the Olympic level. And I think it's only a matter of time before they're back the powerhouse of old. Now, one final look at the All-Stars, and this was sort of the, the media team. Uh, this, so this was Cousins from Canada, Dylan Cousins from Canada, Cervanka from uh, Czechia, Fiala from Switzerland, Yossi from Switzerland, Carlson from Sweden, and lastly, Dostal from Czechia. And this sort of the All-Star team, I would agree with most of these. I mean, Cervanka uh, finally got his gold again after 14 years. So hats off to him. I think he's 38 years old or something along those lines. So really impressive there. Fiala just played great all, all tournament. Uh, Dylan Cousins, another guy sort of lit the lamp when they needed to for Canada. Big, uh, big tournament for him. Yossi, um, another guy sort of, you know, locked down defenseman, points up when you need him what you're looking for out of, your, out of your captain, especially as someone coming in uh, from the NHL. It's exactly who you look for, as well as Eric Carlson from Sweden. Of course, you know, you're looking at the NHL guys to really step it up. And sure enough, uh, Carlson did that, helping Sweden along to that uh, flawless 7-0 record. In the round robin play, and then lastly, Dostal still here. Uh, great, great tournament all around. You know, he pretty much single-handedly put Czechia on his back to the gold medal. I think about it, the U.S. was the shutout, the one nothing shutout. Then you had the Sweden game where it was just an absolute onslaught, but Czechia found time and finally found that back at the net. And lastly here, the Switzerland game shutout here as well, one nothing game up until about five seconds left. So back and forth tournament. This tournament has been an excellent tournament all in all. You know, we've had a couple upsets, especially in the playoffs. You know, not every day you get to see a double upset in the semifinals where I even made the graphic wrong, where I put Sweden and Canada, yet we have Switzerland and Czechia in the final. Just a great tournament all in all, and I look forward to doing it again next year. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like, or subscribing, tell all your friends, leave a comment down below your thoughts on the 2024 IIHF World Championship. Until next time, see you.